dear child of God, all that they have been doing against you, God will frustrate each and every one of it. He said it makes diviners mad. He frustrates the signs of the liars. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25. Dear child of God, yes, they have been planning against you, but do not worry. God will frustrate everything that they have been doing. They have been fighting you night and day, planning evil against your life. But do not worry. God will frustrate everything that they are doing, every single thing. He said that their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise. He said they will not be able to succeed in all of the evils that they have been doing against you. Yes, he says an evil doer eats wicked lips. A liar gives ear to a mischievous tongue. They have had mischievous tongues. They have said things against you that every day you are wondering, when did all of these things happen? They have lied against you. They have done things to blackmail you. They have done things. They have done things to see that you were in pain. But dear child of God, do not worry. Every single one of them would regret doing the things that they did against you. You see the word of God in John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It says no one comes to the Father except through me. He said I am the way, the truth, and the life. It will be that way for you. And it will lead you to your place of breakthrough. It will lead you to your place of upliftment. It will take you to the place of your favor. He knows the path that you should take. He knows the way that you should take, dear child of God. And it will take you on that path because he is the way. He knows everything. He knows about the truth. Dear child of God, everything they have been saying, he knows that it is lies. And the truth will be unfolding very soon. Yes, it would make sure all of their secret wickedness and evil done against you will be brought to the open and they will be exposed. Yes, every single one of them will be exposed for doing the things that they did against you and they will be brought to shame. Dear child of God, God wants you to know that they would be frustrated. God wants you to know that nothing they were doing against you would continue because the end of their wickedness has come. God wants you to know today that you will be the one laughing the last laugh, my God. You'll be the one rejoicing at the end of the day because they thought that they have brought you down. They thought that they have ended your story. They thought that they have brought you in ruins already. But do not worry. He said, he frustrated the tokens of the liars and make a diviners mad. He says that turn it wise men backward. Even in their wisdom, they will be turned backward. Remember the story of Ahithophel and David. David went to God and prayed and said to God, please turn the wisdom of Ahithophel into foolishness. And that was what happened. And the scriptures have stated in Isaiah 44 verse 25, and make it their knowledge foolish. Dear child of God, all the knowledge that they thought they have gathered against you, all the things that they thought they are doing against you, God will turn it to foolishness and they will not know how they would hit the roadblock in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, they will come to the end of the line and they will know that they cannot succeed against you in all of their evil practices in all of their evil plot and all the things they have been doing against your life. Dear child of God, keep taking counsel in God and God only. Go to him every day and say to God, please give me direction. Lead me in what you want me to do. Guide me in everything that you want me to experience. In the truth of your word, I want to be guided because I know that your blessings are there and my life will be restored back in full. Dear child of God, you know what the word of God says? In Psalms 33 verse 10, it says the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Dear child of God, everything they have been doing against you, it will be of no effect. Every of their counsel God will bring to naught in the mighty name of Jesus. They wanted to destroy you by all means, but do not worry. God is going to bring disappointment to them. God is going to make sure that their hands will not be able to perform their enterprise. In Job chapter 5 verse 12, he said it disappointed the devices of the crafty. They will be faced with frustrations and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus. Their hands will not be able to perform all the things that they had intended to perform against your life. Their child of God, they would make sure that in their own craftiness, they will be caught in the mighty name of Jesus. It would make sure that they will begin to fall into the darkness. Yes, the darkness that they have created to consume you. They will fall into it and they will begin to grope in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, the Lord is fighting for you. The Lord is saying you don't need to worry. 
I know what I'm doing. I know the marvelous things I'm going to do in your life. And when I'm done doing it, they will see the marvelous wonders of God and they'll be brought to shame. They will see that every of their evil plans, they will see that every of their evil practices, they will see that all the things they wanted to do against your life did not succeed and they would be brought to shame. Dear child of God, trust in your faithful father. Trust in the mighty God who knows how to settle you, who knows how to give you joy, who knows how to make you laugh the last laugh, who knows how to bring the last laugh from you and he will do that and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is fighting for you. God is standing with you and everyone that have decided to be rebellious, yes, everyone that have decided to be evil against you, they will see how God will turn everything around for your good and they will be brought to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. They will regret, they will regret ever fighting you in Jesus' name. So do not worry about all of their plans. Do not worry all of the knowledge they are gathering against you. What David prayed is what you should pray. He said to God, please turn the counsel, the wisdom, everything that Ahithophel was doing, please turn it to foolishness. And as he inquired of God, God made sure in verse 31, when he prayed that prayer, every single thing he was doing was turned to foolishness. He prayed, he says, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. And him and all the conspirators, every single one of them, could not make headway against David. This is what God will do for you. Everyone fighting you, everyone fighting against your life, none of them would be able to make headway anymore against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will say, look at the wonders that God has brought into my life. Look at the amazing things that God has achieved for me. He has shown me his goodness, he has shown me his love, and he has caused his face to shine upon me. Dear child of God, you will see the amazing hand and amazing might of God in the mighty name of Jesus. God will fight for you. Remember, is the truth, and he will bring the truth out in the mighty name of Jesus. He will bring the truth out for all to see. And those people who did the evil against you, those people who brought the shame and the reproach to your life, Every single one of them will be brought to shame. Every single one of them will regret ever fighting you, ever doing all the things they were doing against your life. Trust God who will set to you and it will set to you in a great and a massive way. Trust God who is there to bring you to your place of rest and you will see how God will do amazing things for you and bring you to your place of settlement in the mighty name of Jesus. Your Father in heaven will send forth your blessing it will send forth the blessings of honor. It will send forth the blessings of increase. It will send forth the blessings of upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus. He knows that you are special to him and he will bring his special blessings to you. He knows that every day you are seeking after his face and he would make sure you are not put to shame. He knows that you have confidence in him. He knows that you trust him. Dear child of God, he knows that you have faith in him. This is why every of the tokens of the evil ones, every of their divining, every of their evil plot, everything they are doing in their coven and in their secret places, God will make sure that he frustrates. None of them will be able to succeed. None of them will be able to overpower you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is how God will continually lift you high and this is how God will set to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to him every day and say, Yahweh God, I know that your sword is in your hand and everyone that you want to bring down, yes, you will bring them down for my sake. As long as they refuse to repent, as long as they refuse to turn to you, as long as they refuse to turn from their evil ways, just say to God, do what you please, do what you please and bring my life to the place of rest. Bring me to the place of joy. Bring me to the place of rejoicing. Bring me to the place of excitement. Bring me to the place of settlement. And I want to assure you, these are the things that God will do. God will give you reasons to be glad. God will give you reasons to rejoice. And you will know God has made your joy full in the mighty name of Jesus. God will say to you, and God will make everything to work for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. So worry no more and watch God bring you to your place of rest and to your place of victory. Watch God make you an overcomer 
Remember you are more than a conqueror and you have overcome each and every one of them because the one who lives in you is greater than every one of them all. Thank you, Lord, for the great things that you have done in the lives of your children and I know it will be made more manifested even in the face of their enemies and oppositions in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.